Hello, and welcome to Your Money 2.0. I'm Thomas Fox, Community Outreach Director of Cambridge Credit Counseling. Although you can find a wide variety of personal finance guides and other self-help books at Amazon.com, the key to financial success is already inside you. You not only have to want to succeed, you have to be willing to sacrifice to achieve your goals. When I was a boy, my grandpa told me much the same thing, though it took me a while to appreciate the soundness of his advice. At the time, I was dissatisfied with some of the personal choices I had made, and as often the case, my grandfather was the one who lent a sympathetic ear. He told me simply, if you don't like your life, change it. It's a simple concept, but I've been able to apply it to my personal and professional life with some success, and I'm not the only one. Over the weekend, a friend shared a story with me that I think epitomizes the value of sacrifice. Some time ago, my friend befriended his local 7-Eleven cashier who was desperate to escape the drudgery of the store and live life on his own terms. The financial challenge seemed enormous. How could he retire early and get out from behind the counter? As it turns out, he didn't need a financial planner, he simply needed to look at his own resources and capabilities to find the answer. The first part of the solution required a drastic attitude change. The cashier didn't feel he had the time or ability to learn a new skill set so he could find a different job, so he decided to work harder at the job he already had. But that didn't seem to make his goal any more obtainable. Here's where the sacrifice came in. Rather than continue to feel sorry for himself, he worked seven days a week for nine years straight, applying his well-developed work ethic and principles to build the financial cushion he dreamed of. Not only did he work hard, he also started living far beneath his means. He rented a smaller apartment and saved just about all of his disposable income. Sure enough, at the end of the nine-year period, he was able to retire on his own terms. While this is a story of extremes, it still teaches a powerful lesson. In order to bring about change, the cashier needed to examine his situation objectively and make the most of his resources. In this case, his capacity for hard work, even if it meant making significant personal sacrifices to achieve his goals. By doing so, he set the stage for financial success. Flexo, the owner and creator of ConsumerismCommentary.com, recently wrote a compelling post about breaking out of one's comfort zone for the Get Rich Slowly blog. In it, Flexo attributes financial success to challenging one's boundaries of comfort. His logic is that if you keep doing what's ordinary, your results will be just that, ordinary. So how can you do something extraordinary? Here are a couple of tips. First of all, educate yourself. Naturally, as a personal finance educator, I agree with this 100%. Before setting out to achieve a goal, look how others have achieved something similar and research how they did it. You have to become familiar with the goals that you want to achieve. If you want to own a home, study the housing market. If you want to invest, study the stock market. Second, team up. Find someone who's on the path you want to pursue and have a conversation with them. In the era of social media, this is easier than ever. In my time online, I've met a number of people via social media whose insights I find to be both valuable and necessary for growth. Third, as we've said in the past, it's important to create a plan. In his article, Flexo agrees that you need a defined path to bring about change. In doing so, you create accountability. The benefit here is that this sense of accountability will help motivate you to reach your goals. Finally, you need to be able to walk before you can run. Therefore, it's important to take small steps if you're contemplating significant changes. Even though a task may seem difficult, breaking it down to small steps usually makes it easier to achieve. Eventually, all your small steps will culminate in the achievement of your goal. At some point after you've watched this video, take a moment to ask yourself what your financial goals are and how you might go about reaching them. Working seven days a week for nine years probably won't be on your list, but what can you do today to change tomorrow? The answers may surprise you, and don't be afraid of a little self-sacrifice. Well, that's it for this edition. We welcome your feedback and ask for your thoughts and suggestions by emailing us at yourmoney2 at cambridgecredit.org. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Thomas Fox for Cambridge Credit Counseling.